Welcome to another weekly vlog. This week we've got a mix of app development, marketing and business modelling to share with you. And a little insight into our daily lives. What's that? It's my lunch. Today I set out creating a marketing strategy. I currently edit the weekly videos on the weekends, but it is important as an entrepreneur that your startup doesn't take over your life. So I've been creating a schedule for our social media content. As we've been playing around with the app and more people have been testing it, bugs are still popping up here and there. We found that the butterfly stopped still once you'd already found it, and this is just due to me forgetting to put a line of code In the afternoon I created a 30 second edit of the reveal video for our website. We then went for a walk with the dogs and Jensen somehow found a foot long subway. What have you found? What are you doing that? What's that? It's my lunch. After attending a marketing workshop recently, I have thought of some ways to improve our website. I have added information on the benefits of the trail from our white papers and have implemented them on the website. I then created an image that will be split by a big red button that allows you to download the prototype and printable signs. This allows our potential customers to demo the augmented reality trails at home or work. After having more people play with the app, we've been getting some good user feedback. So I've been spending some time thinking about how to make the app more innately intuitive since we don't want to put a tutorial in the prototype. One thing we noticed is that people were unsure how to leave the AR experience. For now, I created this chunk of code that tells the user that they need to look away from the screen to go back. The final product won't have this issue since there will be a back button which takes you to the home screen. Today I'm heading to the Wien Social Tech space in Woodgreen to attend another workshop. Later on today, I created a GIF to go on the homepage of our website. Previously we had a still image and it wasn't very eye-catching compared to the GIF next to it. Another feature that people have been struggling with is the animal profiles and how to view them. Our fix has been to add this bouncing effect so that it's a little more inviting to click on. I think at this point the prototype is pretty much finished. We could spend forever adding and polishing, but then at that point it'd just be the finished thing. Today we're heading to Geovation. Geovation is an ordnance survey initiative and has provided us with grants, coaching and lots of opportunities. Today we have a session with Paul, a senior innovation engineer at Geovation. Paul introduced us to LeanCase, a tool that can help early stage companies plan, model and predict financial assumptions. We then had a hearty bowl of noodle soup and continued working on the LeanCase. As it was a beautiful day, we walked to the local woodland to film a How It Works video. This video will simply explain how the augmented reality trails work. The trail consists of physical signs and a mobile phone app. The signs are scanned using the app and an augmented reality animal appears on the screen. The sign also kept falling over. Thanks for watching another vlog. Check out the new website and tell us what you think. Also, keep an eye out for our social media where you'll soon be able to vote for the five animals that will be in the final product.